So hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So I like to wish all the best for their model presentation here. So without making further delay, I like to uh, let the opportunity to explain the topic here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, sir. We are able to present this project in front of you all. So our team name is Team Sinister X. Myself is Ajit and Udit present over here. And we are going to show image information by concave mirror and also concave lens and convex lens diverging and converging property. Okay, very good. Here yeah, we have the object. So this is the object, this is the screen, oh, this is the mirror, it is a concave mirror and it is the screen in which the image will be formed. So first of all, what is a concave mirror? I will show you how this image appears, but using an actual concave mirror and not a screen. Okay. So let's try and find out the properties of an image formed by a concave mirror. This one is the object is keep beyond uh, at the infinity. So the so in first case the object is kept at infinity and the object has the lightness of the object is and it reflects by the concave mirror and the image is formed at the focus. But you can see here that the object is now at the Here you can see the object is kept at infinity and the image is 0.7 and as we and now the object is at the infinity the, the image is formed inverted inverted and real and it is very the size is diminished and in object the object is kept at beyond the curvature Second now the object is taken beyond C, lies a reflex from the concave mirror and the image is formed between C and F. The image is real and inverted, the size of the image is at the point between C and F. Yes. You can see this. Now the object is, which is forming is uh, bigger in size but it is real and inverted. Now in case 3, now in case 3 the object is kept at center of curvature. So if the object is kept at center of curvature, the image will form at center of curvature but it is inverted of same size. And it will form at the center of curvature. Now it is at the center of curvature. The image which will be formed, it will be of the same size and it will form real and inverted. Now you can see that it is the light of the candle is upward in the upward direction, now it is in the downward direction. Now in the case 4, the object is kept at between center and curvature and focus. So let's see that image. The image is formed behind the curvature and the, the uh, image size is enlarged. As we can see the image is a little bit bigger than this. And that's how so if you get the first. Now if you keep the 
subjugate to the earth. Keep the object at focus, the image will form at infinity and it is highly enlarged. The image is enlarged. In any case, six, seven, that is, they see you can see that the object is placed between B and M, that is, pole and focus. Now, here. Of the image which is formed which is beyond the mirror and it is a virtual and direct image which we cannot see here as it is formed behind the mirror. pass two light if we pass two lights we can see that it is converging the mirror is convert the mirror is, is converging the light rays and the image is formed at this point
if you pass two light trees here. <laughs> we pass two light rays from here. As you can see, it is diverging the light rays. It is diverging the light rays. But the image is which is from it. Yeah. It's virtual. It's virtual and erect. Good, good. So, nice very practical level of uh, practical they have done. Very nice, very good. Uh, so, this way, yes, student can understand very well. So, how long it take to make this presentation? Two days. Okay. So, this topic has a larger vision towards the topic. Right. So, it makes more clear. Very good. So, what is the lens? A lens is a, a lens is a glass which bends the light rays when it travels from one medium to another. So, why it bends? Why light actually bends? Because uh, uh, it travels to different medium from error to denser. If a light travels from error to denser, it bends towards the normal. Uh, no, no, my question is why it bends? So, the effective index of the glass is uh, different from the effective index of the ah, So, the effective index of the glass is bent. So, what is the reason? Dude, why actually due to change in reminiscence it bends? Because the molecule in the glass is uh, much uh, tightly packed than the molecule, uh, molecule present in the air. Yeah. Very yeah. simple answer is that because the speed of light changes. Right? Due to change in medium, there is an impact in what? The speed. And due to this, what? The duration changes. That's why it bends. Right? Okay, very good. So, what our eyes in our eyes, which lens called in our eyes? So, which lens can always form a real image? Real image. Always. Uh, convex lens. No, 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 no. There is no such no. No, no. Right? And convex, convex can form in some case in form real. So, there is one case in the form. Okay, all the best. Congratulations. All the best for your exam. Very good. Well done.